Okay. Hello, students. Welcome to MLP English for P3. This is lesson one. I hope that we will be back in school soon, okay? But until then, we will be doing this online. Your only requirements are a notebook of some kind. I got Snoopy on mine, but I thought I liked Snoopy. But you need a notebook, okay, and a pencil. So go get your notebook and pencil, come back here, and we will get started. We are going to start with reading aloud. So what I need you to do in your notebook on the first page, I need you to write reading aloud text one, okay? And then I will give you these definitions. Impatiently, impatiently. That means he doesn't like waiting. Impatiently, he doesn't like waiting. Okay, our next word is flustered flustered that means upset not happy then we have wail ah! a scream of unhappiness then our next word is exclaimed which means said loudly okay get these definitions written down and then we will start with the reading okay so go ahead and get them written down please now in our text we are going to be talking about this girl and daddy and our brother so let's find out what the story is about okay let's read together follow me Jill where are you shouted Harry impatiently there's that first word impatiently he doesn't want to wait he wants to leave right now okay his little sister was always late he had been waiting for more than 15 minutes already been waiting a long time I'm coming Jill's voice floated out from the house. After a minute, she emerged. Emerged, she came out. Looking hot and flustered. Upset, remember, flustered means upset and unhappy. She says, I'm sorry, I could not find my homework. She apologized said she was sorry. Harry nodded and got into the car. Jill moved to follow, but she suddenly stopped and let out a, wild, a loud wail. Ah! A loud wail, just a scream of unhappiness. Something was wrong. Oh no, Jill exclaimed, said loudly. Oh no, my uniform has a stain on it Harry got out of the car. Then he says, does that mean you need time to change? He asked in a strangely calm voice. He's not upset, he's very calm. Do you mind waiting? Jill answered in her sweetest voice. So Jill's driving her brother crazy, being late, being unorganized, right? Okay, so, Remember, this is a story about everybody trying to work together to go to school. Okay, now what we are going to do is go to your English book. On your next page in your notebook, I need you to write World of English Lesson 1 because you have to turn this book in so I need to have everything labeled correctly. World of English Lesson 1. We are going to talk about 
singular and plural nouns. Let's read this together. A noun that shows one person or thing is called a singular noun. Singular means one. Boy, girl, bird, tree, book are singular. A noun that shows more than one person or thing is called a plural noun. Plural means two or more. It can be two, three, four, five, a million. It's okay. It's still plural. Let's take a look. Boys, girls, birds, trees, books are plural. Okay. Let's take a look at how we turn nouns into plural. You can turn most by adding S. C-A-T becomes cats. C-A-T-S. Bottle becomes bottles. You just add an S. Table, T-A-B-L-E, you just add an S. Those are easy, right? Now comes the hard part. You have to remember all of these rules. If it ends in Y, you kill the Y and turn it into I-E-S. Baby, B-A-B-I-E-S, babies. Story, S-T-O-R-I-E-S, stories. Lady becomes ladies. Another way we change is there are some words that are irregular. Ox, oxen, child, children, mouse, mice, goose, geese, man becomes men. There are many of those. And we have one other way. If it ends in an F or F-E, you change it to B-E-S. Wolf becomes wolves, W-O-L-V-E-S. Calf becomes calves. Knife becomes knives. We have one other way. If they end in O, S, X, C-H, and S-H, we add E-S, not S. Box becomes boxes. Class, classes. Branch, branches. Hero, heroes. We all want heroes, don't we? Then potatoes, maybe brushes. Those are examples of how we change singular into plural. Okay, now there are a few other words that do not have a plural. It doesn't matter how many, you use the same word. There was a deer in the park. Sometimes fish is singular, sometimes it is plural. Sheep are always sheep. Okay, then there are some that don't have a singular form. We use the same noun for both the singular form and the plural form. She bought a, an expensive pair of spectacles. These are also called spectacles. They have two lenses, so they are a plural pair. And then the same thing with trousers. You have one leg, two leg. So a pair of pants is singular. Okay. So now let's practice. We need to write the proper word in the blank. So in your notebook, you will write down the answers, okay? So number one, singular is pen, P-E-N, what's the plural? 
It doesn't have a Y. Doesn't have an O or an S or an X or a CH or an SH. Plural is pins. P E N S. So on this one, write P E N S. Pins. P E N S. Okay? Now then, number two, bag. B A G. What do you think? The answer is no Y, no S, no O, X or CH, SH, right? So that's bags. B A G S. Bags. Okay, number three. If the plural is bicycles, B I C Y C L E S, what goes there? What do you think? All you do, take away the S. Bicycle. You write bicycle right there. Okay? Now, oh, here's something different. Mango. M-A-N-G-O. Mango. Is that an S? No, it's not. It is an E-S. So here you write M-A-N-G-O. O E S. All right. Now we have bush. B U S H. What do you think goes there? You're right. E S. B U S H E S. Ah. Glasses. G L A S S E S. What do you think the singular is? It ends in S, so you take away that. Glass. G L A S S. Number seven. You have a watch. W A T C H. And what do we do with C H? You're right. E S. W A T C H E S. Okay. Ah, uh, here's one. Ball. B A L L. What's the rule for that? S. B A L L S. And finally, number nine. We have a Y. L O B B Y. And what do we do with the Y? You're right. L O B B I E S. Okay, so there are nine singular and nine plural. Okay? Now we're going to do one more. Here are some more. Five more. But this time, I want you to do it by yourself. So what you need to do, stop the video, fill this in, and then we will review, okay? So get your pen, stop the video, fill this in, okay? We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, guys. First, let's go over the first set. You have pins, bags, a singular bicycle. You have mangoes, bushes, a singular glass. You have watches, balls, and lobbies. L-O-B-B-I-E-S, okay? So this is the first set that we did together. Now let's test how you did. Okay, this is what you should have for the other set that you did by yourself. You have 
flies, F-L-I-E-S. That is the plural of fly, right? Uh, you have one leaf on a tree, or you have many leaves, L-E-A-B-E-S. All right? Oh, you have one wife? Plural wives? I hope not. W-I-B-E-S, wives. All right? Now, here you had to find the singular. You have a singular loaf of bread, L-O-A-F. You have plural loaves. It would be L-O-A-F, L-O-A-V-E-S for plural. L-O-A-V-E-S for plural. L-O-A-F for singular. Ah, in your mouth. You have one tooth. You have many teeth. And then you have one foot, two feet, right? All right, very good. Those are examples of plural nouns. Okay, now comes the hard part. Okay, now on the third page of your notebook, I need you to write this, I-P-S-L-E, lesson one. Write that down at the top of your page, and then you're going to do this by yourself. All right, this is your I-P-S-L-E lesson, okay? You need to fill these out by yourself. This is your homework, okay? So fill this out, and remember, this notebook needs to be turned in, so be sure you put your name and your student ID, okay? Good luck with your homework.